Welcome back. Yes, until I basically pick up another game, uh, it's gonna be Star Wars during the weekend. Um, what you call it? I tried play, playing that Metal Slug game, but my controller thingy don't work, and I'm not a fan of that. But what are you gonna do? I'm trying to just stick to games where my controller peripheral can work, cause I don't want to use touchscreen. I'll be honest with y'all, don't want to use the touchscreen. So I'm really trying to, I'm like, you know what, let me play some rank. Let me try to get better with the healer. You know, my goal is to just be very efficient at healing. And it's funny because during this match, I realized something. It's like, if you roll, it decreases your, your, your heat for your gun. I didn't, I, caught, I catch that later on in this match. I'm like, oh, snap. Now, the fun part is... It's better to overheat and roll than it is to roll before you overheat. For, for whatever reason, right? For whatever reason, they decide to give the roll like a certain amount of um, like instant cooldown. You see, it just happened, right? So they give the roll a certain amount of instant cooldown. But if your gun is overheated already, instead of waiting for the buffer, you just roll. And then it says you can use it again. So it's better to just let it overheat and then roll if you're, especially if you're quick enough with your, uh, see, that's me figuring it out. <laughs> it's like, I was like, wait a minute, did I see what I thought I saw? So yeah, it's better to just let the gun overheat and roll if you're, you know, your reactions are quick enough. Just a bunch of frenzies. Now with this character, I have no clue. I'm thinking to myself, hey, hey am I hurting his shield? But hey, why not just put bullets out there? Trying my best to aim better. That's all this is. It's like I really decided to play support more so so I can just get my aiming better. Especially in like frantic situations. I love Chewbacca's sustain. Well, forgive me, I know that's not the character's name, but it's like listen. Listen. The Wookiee. Yeah, I'm just spamming that heal. We're doing pretty good. It's 10 to, it's 10 to 2 right now. Almost sounds like a time on the clock. 10 to 2. Now, my, my super is, is way better for objectives. And I ain't gonna lie. I was like, maybe I shouldn't have been shooting that guy since we were so far. And, you know, one character's melee, the other character has a range. So I was like, but I, I just wanted the damage out on them. I just wanted that damage out. So that way, uh, you know, they have less survivability. But being that far, it, it probably was a smarter move to not shoot. Just wait for us to get close enough. Yeah, now it's like... I get my camera steady. Sometimes sensitivity just betrays you. The new Republic is alive and well. That CC combination that the Whoopi has is nuts. Yeah, I'm trying to go for the headshots. I'm trying, I'm trying. Whoa, the train made the boulder move in that direction. I don't know if anybody noticed. Instead of just bouncing and coming like that, it just like went along with the train. See, got the double bounce, but I don't think he has his charge anymore. Well, that game was fun. Rank is not as fast as um, the quick matches, the player matches, but I don't know. Figured maybe rank is a little bit better in terms of what people might want to see. Just got all this stuff going on. 
yeah every all this stuff is just gonna keep popping up on the screen until i reach like a high enough level where this ain't gonna happen every match unless that's not how this works you know unless unless there's like daily challenges that just easily get unlocked So now you can basically see the wait time between matches because you got a combination, right? You got you got loading into the game or whatever this part is, the matchmaking. Oh yeah, like, I should say it there. You got the matchmaking time, and then you got like this loading time where you're on the screen, and then it tells you like one out of eight players or whatever, and and you just watch the number climb until it's like eight out of eight, and then you play. But yeah, once again, feel free to suggest anything. Anybody out there watching, feel free to suggest any game. I'm down to uh, make this channel very diverse. That's me adjusting my volume. Yeah. Do 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 It made me think. I ain't gonna lie, the wait time did make me think like people playing this, right? But I would imagine the game is very fresh, very young. So I would imagine um there should be a lot of people just or maybe people just tired of rank. Maybe a lot of people ain't about that life. And I understand. Cause I, I feel like uh the fun is not in rank, it's it's in, in it's in playing, right? If anything, rank might give you anxiety. Because yeah. now everything's more important than it should be. You got to make everything count. I got to figure out how to unlock characters. I wonder if it's like a purchase system, I guess. Like I said, I've just been playing rather than um, trying to look or pay attention to how this thing really operates. They got their healer. I'm a healer. So here's my little misplay. Instead of paying attention to exactly like what was going on or the game type, I felt like I could have landed in there. That's that's what I'm trying to say. I felt like I could have I positioned myself properly off that ramp. I could have just landed in there and I could have just got the timer in our favor. I, it, it's weird, 1v1 mirror matches just makes me even worse. It's like, oh no, it's, it's their healer versus me. I feel like somehow they're gonna do more damage and heal for a lot more. See, I'm just getting some damage out there, making them um, uncomfortable. I feel like this match, the team's positioning was, was off a couple of times. I got lucky that setting no player decided to just kind of stay there. See, I'm not brave. I wonder if you could, if that jump could be made, but based on that, I feel like it can't. So I just I do a heal and I just do the ult to help uh, do whatever that flag does. Yeah, I feel. Wait, is it just the three of us? I didn't see. Um, I felt bad because I already threw my heal earlier. So it's like, okay, let me put some fire out. Make sure they don't want to cause any trouble for my teammate. And then I was like, oh no. I got lucky because there's a heal there. There's my own heal. And it's like, oh, let me help this guy. Now, listen, this is going to be very embarrassing. I'm just going to keep it honest with y'all. What y'all about to see is going to be very embarrassing. It is, but for, for a, a reasonable portion of that fight, it was two on one, and we just did not, we was just not able to close it out. Now, you see this? Oh no, he did. When I first saw that, I thought, okay, so when you do your charge and you pin them, you can cancel your charge, and if you know how to, the timing to cancel it, 
they can fall off the edge while you're still on the map. It's I thought he didn't know how to catch that timing. Oh, obviously my teammate fell off. I thought he didn't know how to catch that timing, but looking at this little replay, if you want to call it that, he did it and then walked off the map. It must have been like a thing where he just, I don't know, he kept holding forward by accident. Right now it's a 42 to 43. We just claimed the lead. Look, this is the curse. The curse of trying to secure the kill. Now nah, look at like I felt like one of those shots should have landed. Okay, now it's just miss miss. I got a hit marker. And I'm just embarrassing myself. <laughs> Ew, but look, now that he gained health, it's like okay, here you go. Two shots in a row. There you go. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's like when it comes time to secure a kill, all of a sudden you can't hit nothing. I know I'm not the only person that happens to. It's like all of a sudden all my bullets are just missing. I'm shooting airsoft. I don't get it. I did better when he gained health. Like what the heck? Being that this is an objective game, it's like, okay, I feel like my... My super is a bit more important to help us capture territory. Right now, I'm just trying to stay with my sentinel to help us secure this point. He gets hit with a sniper bullet. I get hit with a sniper bullet. That sniper is putting shots onto people. And then it looked like he fell. Right now, we're at, we are down by 10, no, 20. Ooh. And then to see our sentinel player kind of go in there. I'm thinking... You know what I realized? Okay, at first I thought, when I first first saw that, I'm like, oh, he's just, oh wow, that happened. He's just like misplaying because he should not put himself in that position. And then I thought, well, maybe give us a benefit of doubt. Maybe he was trying to melee people off the stage. But watching it, he, it was a monkey see, monkey do. He, he was just going on to the point, gets pushed back with the opponent's melee, and then tried to go for his melee. So that's what happened. So he originally didn't even intend to do that, which is kind of funny. Almost had 2,000 healing. That's what I want to do. I want to get better. I keep getting 19. It's like I said, when I feel like a healer helps fix the mistakes of a team, you know, as long as you can heal very efficiently. Uh, your, your team is allowed to make more mistakes. So yeah, the, be the better of a healer you are, the more mistakes your team is allowed to make. And then of course, if your team is not making any mistakes, that oh, good. It'll just look like a super one-sided match. Yeah, the wait time, the wait time between rank matches. That one's not bad. That one was not bad. And then yeah, waiting for players to like load up into the game. Now, most of the times people don't want to play healer, so it caught me off guard. I tried to make this video just all healer, you know, all healer playthrough, but it caught me off guard watching one of my teammates pick my character. So I was like, oh, time to go back to the OG. Certain bro. I'm like, let me just check my controls real quick. Let me make sure I got my mental mapping in order. I just whipped. He he juked me real bad on that one. Taking mad damage. Healer coming in clutch. I try to like make sure I position myself in front of them, but I can't see them. I'm doing my best. 
And then I whiffed again with my CC. I was hoping I could have like smacked him back and you know, get off me, but the damage was too high. My health was too low, his damage output was too high for that scenario. Yeah, you see this play right here? He makes the mistake. I'm just like, wait, why'd you jump down? Getting some shots on him. There you go. Got my healer. Just suppress a fire or whatever. And then, oh. He made the wrong play. You're in the wrong neighborhood. So you can't just be get, you know, getting caught out like that. Shot him in his ankle. He went down. So that was fun. And then this. It was funny, during that, I'm like, somebody's shooting us from behind. Like, what the heck? I turn around, I don't see nobody. And next thing you know, it's, it's raining hellfire. It's like, yo, chill. But that was funny. Look at that guy. Oop. I think I hit just one of the NPCs. Caught the charge, but he dropped. And then it was just lots of firepower. I got jumped. Look at that movement speed. That dude's booking it. Two, 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 two. Yeah, I believe the shield increases your rate of fire, but it makes you walk slow. Oop. So I, I went for like, cause my uh, heat was already high. So I went for the CC and tried to just quickly do the cooldown, hoping I could put some fire out before he stood up. But you know, that whole combo play is way better if um, you basically have no temperature on your gun. So you could just, cause once you do your CC, it, it, I think it brings it up to over half. It's a kill play on a, um, definitely on a, on a squishy body, it's a kill play. That 20, that was a headshot. I wish I was closer, but I wasn't. And then this happens when the camera gets kind of wonky. Not wonky, what is it? It just feels like the sensitivity is super high when somebody's close. So I was trying my best. But I, I commend people who know how to play up close. I think that's like one of the great advantages, especially like for shooters or especially if it's a, a first person. If you can like play up on somebody like that and constantly um, orb walk them, you know, just walk around them or satellite, whatever they call the, ter whatever terminology is of you just sticking to them, but you're walking around them. Yeah, it makes it very difficult for them to aim at you. Well, look at that, GG. Please hit the subscribe button, helps this channel grow. And give you more content. Look at the scoreboard. I don't know what I'm looking at. Did I do good? No. <laughs>